Which statement regarding polynomials and their zeros is true? Okay, so in order for us to answer this question, we have to understand uh, something called the remainder or factor theorem. So if I have some polynomial, which I am dividing by, say, a binomial, this binomial would be a factor of f of x if the following is true. If I take the value of a, substitute it in, and I end up with 0 as a result. So x minus a, therefore, would be a root. Something else, if I take uh, f of x and say if I don't end up with 0, let's say I end up with some other number, let's say r, right? As it turns out, this is going to be the remainder of dividing x minus a into f of x. And um, so therefore we can conclude that x minus a is not a factor of f of x, and a therefore is not a root. So looking at this, option 1, right, if I have f of x uh, equal to x squared minus 1 times x plus a has zeros of 1 and negative a only, I know that that statement is false. Well, and why is that false? Well, that's because if I take x squared minus 1, I know that that's factorable, right? That factors into x plus or minus 1. So therefore, the zeros is not only 1, but it's plus or minus 1. So option 1 there, no good. Okay, option 2. f of x is equal to x cubed minus ax squared plus 16x minus 16a has zeros of 4 and a only. Something else that you need to know about polynomials, if you have a cubic equation, there could be uh, at most three different roots, and the number of um, the degree measure of the polynomial uh, gives you like the possibility of how many roots um, there can potentially be. There can potentially be three roots here, okay? But they're telling us that there's only two. Well, let's test that. And um, to do this, I'm going to, I have another trick on my sleeve. And that is, if I take x cubed minus ax squared plus 16x minus 16a, if I were to divide this by, say, x minus a, okay, I can then figure out uh, whether or not this is these are the only roots or not. And to do this, I'm going to use a, um, a, a, a technique called synthetic division. So the synthetic division says this, right? I'm going to take a, which is what I think the root is, and I want to list out all the coefficients of the polynomial. I have 1, I have negative a, and then I have 16. And then the last term there, that's a constant. That's negative 16a. And what I want to do with this is I am going to add 1 with 0. So that's 1. Take a times 1. So I want to take, whoops. I want to take a times 1. And place that result over here and what I end up with is a I add the two I end up with zero I do this again a times zero is zero 16 plus zero is 16 and then I do that again a times 16 that's 16 a and the last number that I get here by adding negative 16 a and 16 a together I end up with zero that is the remainder so looking at this right now, I can tell that a is indeed a root, and the result is, if I were to divide x minus a into this cubic equation, what will result is I will end up with x squared minus 16. And x squared minus 16 can be factored further. This will turn into x plus or minus, well, x plus 4 times x minus 4. So we can see that the roots uh, is not only 4, but also negative 4. So option 2 doesn't work. Let's take a look at option 3 now. So I have f of x is equal to x squared plus 25 times x plus a has zeros of uh, plus or minus 5 and negative a. Well, negative a certainly works. However, x squared plus 25 is prime. I cannot factor that any further. So it's not plus or minus 5. And as a matter of fact, if you place plus or minus 5 in, you can see that it doesn't give you 0. So this is not good either. So the only one that actually works is 4. 
and let's just do a quick verification, right? So again, I'm gonna take uh, A, and I wanna do synthetic division. I have one, uh, and then I have negative A, and negative nine, and the last number is nine A. So again, synthetic division. So I get one, A, zero, zero, negative nine, negative nine A, last number there is zero. I end up with X squared minus nine, as the uh, answer to the quotient, and that becomes x plus three, x minus three. So yes, indeed, those are the only three possible zeros.